In this video, I want to review my precision inductive stovetop. Now, I know the induction technology has been around for a while, but this is brand new to me. I've never had one. I've heard about them, but I was really impressed with this. This was uh, gifted to me, and I'm going to program it um, at a high level, then I'm going to switch it to a medium level, and then a low. The low is a warming setting, so if you're if you program your stovetop to cook something, and then you end it in uh, the low, it'll keep it warm without cooking it. So while it's showing you the program, I'm going to tell you more about it. So if you want to program, I'm going to program it at max time one minute then I want it to go to medium time one minute and then low time one minute program and start now what I love about this is that it is twice as fast as a regular stovetop I think they said it was uh, 75 percent cheaper to, to run but what I love about it is the safety features and that is there's coils under here and the only coils that heat up are what's right below the pot so if you have a larger pot it's going to be out here I think it's all within the red and then right here I can put my finger right here and it's cool even while that's boiling it's, this will be cool so I love that it doesn't give you extra heat in the house which is amazing in the summertime and um, there are ways to program it where it's a delayed start. So if you program it to like time um, 20 minutes and then you want to cook it, you can do it that way. I have not done that yet, so I can't show you. But what I do want to let you know is that when I turn this on, it just like this, it's fine. But when I turn it on, near my grandchildren they can hear a high-pitched sound and I thought that was kind of interesting because I turned it on and all three of them grabbed at their ears at the same time so when I use it with my granddaughter I put earphones on her so she can't hear it and from what she said after it gets going it's not as bad so it's weird because it's one of those things I can't hear but they can so that was kind of interesting so um, you notice it started down here on sear now it's on the medium setting and then it's going to go to the low setting and I like this because there's no external heat element anywhere as soon as I lift this off you'll have an error setting and everything shuts off so the only cooktops the only cookware that works on here is something that's magnetic so if you use if you use a magnet on something and it works if it's magnetic it'll work on here if it if it's not magnetic it won't so I have my magnet and I just test my pots and pans and that way I know which ones work now you see it's down on to the warming and then it's going to shut off I love this because it's something you can unplug and take you can use it outside you can take it to another location it's just so simple the top is um, easy clean. I just use a vinegar water solution and I, after I finish using it, I spray it down and wipe it down. Super easy, um, super convenient, super safe. So um, I highly recommend this. I, I, I'm not one for the newest gadgets, but I really love this a lot. So um, as soon as it shuts off, I'll be done. And you guys go check it out. It's super cool. All right, there you go. Now, when it goes off, uh, that's what it's, that's what it looks like when it goes off. But if I were to have it on, and I do this a lot, I pick up my pan and I stir something, and this is what happens: it instantly stops cooking, and I put it back down. It sits there, so you have to hit start again. So this pauses it. So if you want to take it off and go do something um, and then come back or you want to stop it. And then if you want to turn it off completely, you do a double tap. 